Kate, Princess of Wales and Prince William surprised royal fans this week as they took Prince George on a tour of Eton College, bringing the future of their schooling and their home into question. Some royal experts have questioned the potential school move, as the college is located very close to Windsor Castle, reports Daily Mail. There have been suggestions that the real reason William wants George to go to Eton, or is at least visiting, could be because he is planning a move for him and Kay to Windsor Castle, over the road. Although George would not be eligible to attend the prestigious all-boys school until the autumn of 2026, when he will be 13, if George does go to Eton he would be following in his father's footsteps even though at the time William's school choice was seen as a break with royal tradition. Get the latest royal news straight to your phone by joining our WhatsApp community. George and his siblings Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis are currently attending the co-educational Lambrook School near their home at Adelaide Cottage in Windsor, leading some to speculate he could attend another mixed school such as Marlborough College, where his mother Kate spent her teenage years. William's arrival at Eton marked a significant change for the royals as royal children had been traditionally sent to Gordonstone in the Scottish Highlands. King Charles spent a miserable time at Gordonstone as a young boy, although he later admitted the school had instilled in him a sense of responsibility and discipline. If George did attend Eton he would still have to pass the entrance exam, which has a pass rate of 65%. Fees at the Berkshire School are set from £46,000 per year with Kate and William able to register George up until June 30th of the school year that he turns 10. George will be 10 on July 22nd, meaning another potential relocation could be on the card for their family if they want to be nearer to him when he is a pupil. Daily Express Royal Correspondent Richard Palmer said of George's possible attendance at Eton, I find it fascinating because the Princess of Wales is spending so much of her life talking about giving children a better start in life and part of that, she and her advisors, have talked about reducing inequality. And there you have her children at a fee-paying independent school, almost certain to go to an expensive fee-paying boarding school later on. Sussexes cannot afford another dud deal as expert warns path is narrowing, latest, King wants Andrew to retire and not cause him any grief despite Duke's wish, reveal, royal fans weigh in on why Lady Louise has never attended Royal Ascot, spotlight, the Wales is moved into Adelaide Cottage last summer, with the family currently said to be extremely happy there, a source told page 6. It had been speculated previously that Kate and William had royal lodge earmarked for them if the king is successful in getting his younger brother Prince Andrew to move out of the property. However Andrew has refused to go and now it seems Kate and William don't want to move in as they aim to give their children as normal an upbringing as possible at Adelaide Cottage. The Duke of York has lived at Royal Lodge for 20 years, but now his annual grant has been cut it is unclear if he will be able to keep paying for the mansion and the renovations that it needs, 